Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to extract data from PDF documents into Excel. We'll run through two different methods. The first, and my preferred method, is by using Power Query. But if you don't have that functionality within your Excel, the second method should work for pretty much everyone, where we'll use Microsoft Word as a stepping stone into getting the PDF into Excel. Now, let's get straight into it. Here we have a PDF that we've saved down, which consists of a header with some text and a couple of pictures, a table of sales data, and a line chart of the quantity sold. And the part we want to be able to extract into Excel is the sales table. I've opened a blank Excel workbook. In order to use Power Query to extract the data, we need to come up to the data tab on the ribbon at the top, across to the Get and Transform Data section on the left, and click on the Get Data button. This is where you can choose the type of data it is you want to import. For example, from other Excel workbooks, from databases such as Access, and even from the web. If you want to watch my video on importing data from the web, click on the link at the end of this video. To import the PDF, click on From File, From PDF. This will open a new window for us to select the PDF file we want to import. Select it and press Import. This will open the Power Query Navigator window. Over here is the top level of the PDF document and Excel has identified two different items within it. The first is the data table and the second is the entire page. In this example, we just have one page and one table, but if there were more, they would show up separately here. If you need to import multiple items, you could do so by checking this box up here. You can preview what's included in each item by clicking on it and viewing it on the right. We just want to import the sales data, so we'll select the table. You can now either load this straight into Excel if you're happy by clicking load, but I'd always suggest you click transform data as sometimes the preview doesn't show everything it is importing, so we'll do that now. This opens the Power Query editor window where you're able to make transformations to your data. On the right here, we'll go ahead and rename this query to sales data. We can see there have been four steps applied by Excel automatically, and we can click through each one to see how this query works. The source is the location the PDF is saved. The navigation step is expanding the data of the table within the PDF. The headers are currently contained within the first row of the data. So the next step is promoting that row to the headers in Power Query. Then the final step in the query is converting the data within the columns to a data type. This looks fine for our purpose, and so we'll go ahead and load this straight into Excel. To do that, come over to the Close and Load button. If you click the bottom portion of it, you can choose how you load your data into Excel. Selecting Close and Load will load it back into Excel based on the default settings you've chosen. And selecting Close and Load 2 gives you a few load options. For this example, we just want the table, so that's fine. And I'll place the data in the existing worksheet in cell A1. And check it out. Here is our data loaded straight into our spreadsheet. When the PDF gets updated with September's numbers, all you need to do is right click on the table and select refresh, and that will update with the new figures. The advantage of using the Power Query method is that once it's set up, it's really quick and easy to refresh the data if it changes. However, not everyone's got access to this functionality in Excel. So let's take a look at how we can do this without using Power Query. But before we get into that, if you found this video useful so far, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button and subscribing if you're not already. Now, let's get back into it. Open a blank Word document and press Control O to get the open navigator window. Select Browse and then in the File Types section in the bottom right here, change this from All Word Documents to PDF Files. Then navigate to where you've saved your PDF document. Select it and press open. A message box will appear telling you this may take a while and may not look exactly like the original, but press OK. This now opens the PDF as a Word document. From here, we're able to select the data from the table, press Ctrl C to copy it and then head over to Excel. Up at the top, select the paste section and then choose match destination formatting. And there you go, we've got exactly the same result as before, just this version will need to be repeated each time you get an updated PDF, so it's not as dynamic. I really hope you found this tutorial useful. 
I'd love to know in the comments below which version you've used or if you've got a different workaround to this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.